Hey everyone, Kaylee here with this Bridget Bardot inspired side braid. I've been a little bit inspired by the 60s recently and mostly about how would the 60s look interpreted through today's eyes. And this is a little bit of what happened from my imaginings with that. So I actually ended up wearing this hairstyle to a party with Ken Community and Miss Chris Turner here on YouTube. It was this great like girls night in party and she actually ended up making it into a inspiration video for how to have like a great girls night in dance party. So you should check that out. It's going to be linked below and now let's go ahead and learn how to do this hairstyle. First, it would not be a Bardot inspired updo without a little mini bouffant. So I'm actually starting out with a side part for this and then I have second day hair. Your texture for this doesn't really matter too much just as long as it's a little bit smooth. So now I'm going to take a little part from kind of my crown section of hair and then I'm going to brush it straight forward almost like a unicorn horn. And then I'm going to do a little bit of teasing starting at the base and working my way up the hair. You can see this isn't a really tight frizzy cotton ball y tease, it's just a little bit just to kind of net the hair together. Then we're going to take a second section of hair and do the same thing. You can always do this tighter if you want, if you want like a really large bouffant, but I don't think that's necessary at all. So now I'm going to throw both of these sections back and I'm going to lightly comb over the top just to make everything nice and smooth. Then I'm going to gather it together with my hands and pin it in the back. The way I like to pin this is to first take all this hair and twist it a couple of times. And then I like to pin into the twist. That's just my personal preference. So I'm taking a couple jumbo bobby pins here and pushing up and into the twist. If the twist seems a little bit more hard for you, all you really have to do is just hold the hair together and then crisscross your bobby pins to hold it in place. You can use two bobby pins, you can use three, whatever you need. Just get this in place and we're going to move on to the next step. And now we're going to create a small bun and we're going to use the hair that's left over from the bouffant that we just made. So take kind of the tail of the hair from that and you're going to wrap it into the shape of a bun without twisting it. Doing that makes kind of a rosette shape, which I really like. So I'm just wrapping it around once and then pinning everything in place and then I'm actually going to tuck the end under the beginning of the bun and pin everything in place there. And that's it. You can substitute whatever kind of bun you want for this one. If the rosette seems a little difficult, just do a standard bun instead. Now you could leave this as a half updo and I think for short hair that would be great. But to finish this off for my long hair, I'm going to do a side braid. So I'm taking the half of the hair on the side the braid won't be on and I'm lace braiding it to the other side. So I'm going to split it into three and begin braiding. Then once I have my braid started, I'm going to add in hair only from the top. So now that my braid is started, you can see that I'm going to grab a section of hair and I'm going to join it with my braiding section on top. Then I'm going to braid it in. And then on the other side of the braid, I'm just going to braid normally without adding in any hair. Then again on the top, I'm going to pick up another section of hair and add it into my braiding section, braid it in, and then on the bottom, just braid the hair over normally. Then I'm going to bring it over my shoulder because I've got all the hair in the back done. And I'm going to add in one more section from the front. And I'm leaving out that little bit of hair next to my face just because I liked it that way. If you have bangs, you can totally just have them down with this style and you can choose to leave any face framing layers out that you want. And now that I have all that hair in the lace braid, I'm just going to braid the rest normally until I have just a couple inches of hair left and I'm going to secure it with an elastic. And that is it for the side braid. Now I'm going to tousle it just a little bit because you know I love a nice tousled braid. So I'm going to start by massaging the braid and you can see that this is making it much more voluminous. I'm also pulling a little bit as I massage the braid and I'm going to continue doing this all the way up my normal braid. And now I have this new thing that I've been doing with my braids. I like to split my hair in half over the elastic and then kind of toss the little ponytail through that split. So it's just a little topsy tail with my braid. Then once that's done, I actually grab the end of the braid and slide the elastic up the hair a little bit. Then I kind of tug on the braid and kind of resituate it now that it's been a little bit more disheveled. And you can see that it just gives it this more topsy-turvy look. I'm also going to massage the back of the braid as well. I think really messing with this braid helps to give a more modern look to this otherwise a little bit retro hairstyle. And I think that it's a great way to kind of imagine Bridget Bardot today. You've got the great little beehive like she had, but then you also have some more modern elements like the really textured side braid. So I hope you guys really like this. I think it's super pretty and you should definitely try it out. And you should also check out the Girls Night In inspiration video that I was a part of. It was so much fun and this party looked so cute. You should definitely check it out. I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.